Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this zigzag bracelet using cubic right angle weave. And this is for those of you who um, have really wanted to do the cubic right angle weave sort of angles, but you didn't want to do all the bezels that I did <laughs> in the past few videos. So this is not using bezels, it's just using a, either six millimeter gemstone or a six millimeter pearl, 11 OC beads, um, a, a few jump rings and just a clasp and there you have it. So a very fun sort of summer bracelet, um, very um, easy to do and fun to practice your cubic right angle weave, you know, making angles. All right, so I'm gonna clear this off, get a materials list going and we'll get started. So please, if you enjoy my videos, please um, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and give it a like, you know, all that stuff. And uh, I'll be back with materials. Okay, here are your materials. So you need some six millimeter either gemstones, pearls. Um, this one I use the Swarovski uh, Mystic Black. I don't know if you can find them anymore, but you can use a an onyx or an agate stone here. I just love using gemstones, especially now that the warm weather is coming. You'll need two colors of 11 O seed beads. I have a Picasso here. I'll list everything down below in the mounts and everything. And here's my contrasting color, which is the silver one. You'll need four six millimeter 20 gauge jump rings stop bead here's my the clasp i use so this is the tiara cast clasp i'll link that down below and if you want to use the bead reamer so much fun you can use you if you have a bead reamer or something you can put your right ankle weave units on to hold them in place and uh, that's really all you need so i'm going to clear this off and we'll get started so don't forget to look in the description box for all i mean any coupon codes i have um links to bead websites, all the colors, sizes, shapes, and amounts. Okay, right. let's get started. So thread your needle with about, I don't know, if you could do six feet, do six feet, do what's comfortable, because um, you're going to add thread, uh, and put on a stop bead, and you can leave enough of a tail to sew in. So I'm going to use eight O's just for demonstration purposes. So you're going to pick up your beads and pick up four, and you're going to drop them down to your stop bead. Dropping those down. And I'm going to sew them into a circle. So I'm going to sew through the first bead after my stop bead, like that. And then you can reinforce this all the way around. Now, the important thing when you're using, when you're doing this, especially with this, the, um, the bead reamer, is you want this first unit, this first just little face right angle weave unit here, nice and tight. You don't want it to come apart. So you may even want to put a knot there. So, you know, think about that because it's, it, it, you want it stable. So here, this is what I have. So this is exactly how you, I want you to hold your piece. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to take the bead reamer and I'm just, see how I'm holding my piece. So the working thread is coming out of the top of a side seed bead. Uh, the um, tail thread doesn't matter at this point. I'm just going to pop right down through the middle of that whole thing and I'm going to hold it like this. So when I go like that, you see it's just popped down through the middle. I'm holding it this way because we're growing in this direction. Like in this direction. <laughs> Alright, so here I'm exiting this bead right here. So I'm going to pick up three beads. I'm going to sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting. So I'm going to put the first face, attaching the first face to this base unit here. I'm going to just rotate my piece. So you see I'm just rotating it a little bit and I'm going to sew directly up through the next bead. This is the only bead I can sew through right here because see these are facing me. I'm not going to sew through this. Sew through this one. Now I have two beads of the next unit. I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. So one, two. I'm going to rotate my piece like that. And then I'm going to sew directly up through the next bead. So again, this is the only bead I can go through. Directly, directly up. I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. So one, two. Like that. I'm going to rotate. 
just like so. It's a little maneuver. You'll get it. Might take a little practice. So I have three beads here. I'm going to sew directly up through the next bead in line. So just going straight up like we've been doing. And then I'm going to sew through this top bead like that. So here are the three beads. I have to add a bead here. It's my last little right angle uh, weave face to the cube. So I'm going to sew through this one, this one, one, two, like that. And now my cube is complete. I'm going to sew through this one. And the only thing we have to do at this point is put a thread through these four beads because do you see how there's no thread there? You want to sew them together. So exiting this top bead right here, I'm just going to make a turn. I'm going to go through this one. And then I'm just going to wait till that clears up, clear up. There we go. I'm going to just put a thread through all the beads until I come out of here again. So these two, this one, and this one. And then when I turn it around, I'm back where I started from and I have a thread through every bead here on the end. So just like that. So here's your cube. So if you haven't done this before and you were successful, admire your, your handiwork because you did a great job. There you go. All right. So get that done and come back and we'll add another cube on. Okay, let's add on a unit. So I'm going to pick up three beads exiting here. So I'm going, my thread is coming up out of this seed bead. I'm just going to sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting. I'm going to rotate my piece and advance through the next bead. It becomes easier now that we have something, you know, to attach to and it's getting a little larger. Pick up two. I'm going to make a right angle weave unit out of these. So I'm going to sew through this one and this one, one, two, and pull that into place. I'm going to rotate my piece and sew up through the next bead, just directly above the bead I'm exiting. Pick up two, do the same thing, I'm going to sew through this one and this one, one, two, Going to rotate and advance through the next bead. I'm going to sew through this top bead. I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. So one, two, to complete that face. Just like that. Now I want to sew these beads together on the side. So I'm going to sew through this top bead like that. And then I'm going to go directly through this one, like that. And then let me show you on the back, on this side. You want to sew these beads together. So through this one and this one, through this guy, and this one. So I'm right back where I started from. And if you lose count and you keep going around, don't worry about it. You will end up, you want to just end up where you started from with one thread in between each, whoops, clear that up, okay. One thread in between each bead on the end, like that. So now we have two units on. You can take it off or leave it on your bead reamer. We're gonna use the bead reamer for our turn, so I'm just leaving it on. So we have two units on, I'm counting here. One, two, do that two more times so that you have four units on. So you'll count one, two, three, four, and then come back and we'll make a turn. Okay, we're back. So I have my four units on and I've counted them. One, two, three, and four. And I'm exiting out of this top bead. I'm going to take my bead reamer and I'm going to place it right here. Don't worry if it's sticking out. You just don't want to get caught on it. You can. You know, it's, it won't be, it's not a big deal. So this is what it looks like. See, I have my finger pressed against it right here. So I want to make a turn and go this direction. So I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through that bead. 
I'm going to pick up three of my beads and I'm switching color so it's because I thought it might be easier for you to follow along and I'm just going to sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting like that. Now I'm just going to do the rotate I'm going to rotate and you're going to have to sew through the next bead so here I have this first face on right here so exiting this bead right here, I'm just going to sew right up through the next one. So you see it right there? That's it. Now I'm going to pick up two beads and I'm going to make another unit. So here I'm exiting right here, so I have to sew through this one and this one. And just don't get caught on your bead reamer. So this one and then the one I'm exiting. And when I pull it, I just make sure that, that it's going around the bead reamer instead of through. So see, now I have another unit on, and you can see the unit consists of this interior bead and then these three. Okay, I'm going to rotate just like that and sew through the next bead. So we rotate advance. That's the whole thing. Pick up two. I'm going to make a unit with these two, so I'm going to sew through this one and this one. one. Two. Like that. I'm going to rotate. Advance through the next bead. Sew through the top bead. Just moving the needle around now. Like that. Picking up a bead. I'm going to make a unit out of these three. This one and these two. So sew through this one and this one. One, two. I have my last face on. I'm going to sew through the top bead like that and then I want to sew these four beads together so I'm going to go through these two, these two and then I need one more to get back where I started from so here rotating it around a bit until I come through this bead. That's, you've made your turn. So easy, huh? It really is not difficult. So play with that. Get your turn done. And once you have your turn done, you want four units this way. So you're counting this unit right here. You're counting this one. One, two. So I have two on. Put two more on. And then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So let's make another turn. So we're zigzagging. We're going to go this way, this way, this way, you know, and that's how we're going to do the whole thing like this, like W's or V's all along. So we need to move our thread now. So here I'm going to take it off my bead reamer. I'm just going to move my thread now. So exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. Now I want to come out of this bottom bead here. So I'm just going around this, this right angle we can it here, this one, and then through this one. Okay, now take your bead reamer, pop it through this one if you, st if you need it. I like holding it on the bead reamer, so <laughs> that's what I do. Picking up three, sewing through the other side of the bead I'm exiting rotating and advancing through the next bead picking up two sewing through this one and this one so one two like that rotate advance pick up two and use these two beads so sew through this one and this one one two rotate and now you're going to advance so straight up through the next bead so exiting here your rotate and advance is going to be this bead right in here so those three beads are going to be the beads that we that we're going to use to finish the cube so through that one so through this one I'm going to add a bead right here so I'm going to sew through this one and the one in, in the interior there. One, two, like that. Sew through this one. Our cube's on. Now let's close it up. 
by sewing through these two, this one, this one. I need one more, so I'm rotating and I'm going to go through this one just to get a thread in between each one. And there you go, you've made your next, you've started your next angle. So you're going to add, you're going to have four units this way, but you're going to count this unit. One, two, so put two more on, and then you're going to go back up again and down and up and down, just like we, how we started, and until you get the length of your bracelet. And what I did as how I ended it is I ended, well, let me just show you actually on this piece out. I ended with one unit like down and then one up um, just because I thought it clasped better that way but you can play with that if you like. So you're just going to keep doing those units up and down and up and down like little V's until you get the length and then when you're done come back and we'll add some pretty stones in the little corners there. Okay just back for a second. So here so this is the next the unit that you just put on. So remember you're counting four, but you're counting the, the unit that was already there. One, two, three, four. And then so when you're headed up, like the W, the up on the W, you're going to be sewing through this bead. And then you're going to add on, just like we did with this one. So it's going to be like that. When you are going on the down, let's say like looks like an M at that point, You'll be exiting here. Remember, we have to sew around these beads till you come out of this bead. I mean, it's all there. Just rewind it, but I'm just reminding you here. So you're going to be kind of coming out of this one. All right. So that's how you're going to do it when you're when you're zigzagging. And don't forget, only count four, which will be the four. One, two, three, four, just like that. All right. So have some fun, and then come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do next is we're going to add these stones, pearls, whatever you like. So on this one, I'm working on, I love this. These are some sodalite gemstones. And go back to all your um, Potomac bead boxes, best bead boxes, um, the, X, the regular, the XL. That's where I went. And I just picked out all the stones. And I have them all set in a separate container. Um, and I found these gorgeous sodalite stones. So, you know, once you're done with your project, you know, take those boxes apart and put it, separate everything so you have this huge selection of stones, of pearls, of etc. All right, so <laughs> that's a, enough lecture. So here, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to weave in and out with the, with the gemstones or the pearls. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to use the big piece because I think it would be easier, and I'll use some... A big these are drug beads and they're eight millimeter but these are six so when you're using we're using all 11 O's and the six O's this I'm using all eight O's and um, eight millimeter beads I mean you could probably make the bracelet out of this all right so I've threaded a needle with just enough thread to to you know zigzag through a couple uh, two and a half feet I always like to put extra on all right, and so what I'm going to, the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm going to hold my piece like so. I'm going to turn it over, and I want to go through this, I'm just going through the middle of this second unit. So you see this, here's, here are my four units, one, two, three, and four. I'm just going to pop right through, but I want to make sure that I'm coming out of the same unit on that side. So popping through the middle, coming out of the middle one on this side. And you could really play with this any way you like. So this part, so it's just going through. I'm not going through any beads. I'm just like popping right through. I'm going to pick up, let me grab my seed beads. You pick up an 11-0, a 6 millimeter, and an 11-0. I'm, of course, picking up the bigger beads. And I'm just going to go through. I'm going to go from here to this, the center of this unit right here. Okay, right here. But I want to make sure when I come out, I'm going to sort of slant it this way, that I come out of the second unit from this end, one, two. So do you see how it's going in through a slant? Like that. I'll do it again. And that kind of places that in the middle, and it places my thread right here, coming out of the center of that second right angle weave unit again. So here, let's do that again. 
So picking up an 11-0, your six millimeter pearl or gemstone in 11-0. So I want to go from here and I want to go to this one right here. But I want to make sure when I go through that I'm exiting the second one. See that? From this side. So one, two. And if it doesn't, you know, you can, it's easy to, to, to play with it. But you see how it slants this way? And then when I put it on, again, I'm pretty centered right there. And my thread is coming through this area, right through the middle of this guy. All right, let's do it again. So 11.06 millimeter, 11.0 for you. And then I'm going to sew through this one right here, but I want to sew on a slant. I want to put my needle through on a slant, so I'm going to exit this, the center on this side. So this second, the center of the second unit on this side. And you know, it may pop out and you might have to fix it, but you'll get it. So here, see, and I'm pulling tight and you see how that kind of centers everything. I'll do it one more time. So 11-0. Six millimeter, eleven o. Just make sure you pull your thread over a little bit so it's because it's not attached to a bead. It's just kind of going through the whole thing. Okay, so here. So I want to make sure I'm going through this, the center of this unit right here, but I'm slanting it so I'm coming out of the center unit of this, the center of this unit one two. So you see how it goes in at a slant. And like I said, if it you know messes up, take it out and you know. Put it some, you know, try again. So here. So now everybody's kind of centered in the middle and it looks good. All right. So you're just going to keep doing that all the way down the line until you are at the end and then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, so I've switched to my, my 11 O's and I'm putting on my last 11 O, six millimeter 11 O, and I'm going through here. And on the last one, you're just going to actually end up going straight through just to center that, just like that. Okay, so see how I'm coming out right there. So I didn't slant it, I just left it straight through. It put that on very nicely. Now what you wanna do with this, so we're coming out of just the center. You just, you want to end up going through a bead here after you come through, because you wanna sew this thread in. So here, I'm just right in the center. I'm just gonna just pop over there this one you know wherever is it's um convenient to sew your thread in i'm just going to sew all the way around until it feels you know make sure you pull it tight so everybody's tight until it feels nice and secure so you're just going through the beads go at right angles you know go around you know just um to secure it really nicely and what we're going to do next is we're going to add this edging here. So just get to this point. If you have a bunch of thread left, you can do the edging with that thread and I'll show you how to do it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this thread off and I'm gonna start a new thread. So just get to this point where you've sewn this thread in and then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I have this thread on and it's enough for me to go all the way down around and then back again. So you want to make sure it's long enough. Just you know, measure according to this, the length and add, you know, you want to add some on so you have plenty of thread. I've, I'm coming out of, see this top bead right here? I love those soda light beads. Aren't they pretty? They're nice and cool on the skin coming out of this one. Now, the first thing I want to do, so you can use all 11 O's now. First thing I want to do is I just want to pick up an 11 O. So this is a contrasting color. It's my silver. And I'm going to sew through. I'm going from here to here. I want to put an edge around the, the um, end because we're going to use that for the clasp. So I'm going to sew through that one. I'm going to sew through. Pick up an 11 O. Sew through the next one. See, like that. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to sew through the next one. So I just want to put a bead right there in between each of the 11 O's at the end. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to come back through this one. 
So it looks like that. See how it squared off the edge there? And now I'm exiting that. Let's see, make sure I'm exiting in the right place. I am. So I'm exiting this blue bead right here. I've put those four silver beads on. So I'm exiting the blue one at the top here. Pop over to this one. Yep. So here, if you look at it this way, I'm here. I'm just going to pop over to this one. Okay. So that's just setting me up to put the edge on. So just get to this point and then we'll move on. Okay, we're back and we're exiting this blue bead up here, this guy. And how many of you were screaming at your screen saying, Stephanie, don't move on. You missed a bead here. <laughs> and I didn't see it until it was all over. So I missed an 11-0 right here. I mean, I could fudge it and put one in, but I'll take it apart and I'll redo it. You know, I just, you know, I hate when that happens. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to move on anyway. So here, I'm picking up my silver bead. And I'm just going to put a silver bead, it's an 11 -o. in between each of these beads here. I'm just going to keep zigzagging. So here, I'll start you off here. I'm going to sew through this one. Picking up an 11 -o. I'm going to sew through the next one. So I'm just working on the edge. Picking up another one. I'm going to go up through this one. And so on. I'm going to keep doing that all the way down, like so. I love the edge. It's so pretty. You know, it just makes it pop. So just placing a bead in between each of the beads on the edge. Like that. And so on. So you're just going to keep doing that all the way down here. You know, up this way. I know I can stop now and let you go off on your own. I will do that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Be carefully. Don't get caught. And we'll do one more. There we go. All right, so this is what it's looking like. So you're going to do this all the way down to the end, and then you're going to turn around. You're going to put your four beads in between. Do I, should I do that with you? Yeah, I'll do that with you when we get, when we come back. So just come down to the the other end, and then I'll I'll do the turn with you. All right, same okay, here. we're down to the end, so we're going to do the turn. So here I've put my last seed bead on, that on the bottom there. Now I'm just going to go this way and put these beads on the edge. This one. So now I have the four beads at the end, so now I need to work my way back up here. Let me pull in a little bit. Back up through this bead. So I'm just I'm exiting this one. I'm just gonna sew right through the blue one right here. So I'm just gonna skip the one I put on like that, and then through this one. So I'm just using that right angle weave unit, the blue one, to turn around and then here we go, adding the silver beads on the edge on this side. Just like we did on the other side. And doesn't that finish it off nicely? All right, so get that done. Do that all the way down at the end. And um, you can sew your thread in, or if you have enough, you can put part of the clasp on, and we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, we're back. So um, let's finish up the end. So here I'm coming down to the end here, putting on my last little silver bead, just like that. And I'm exiting that blue bead at the end. 
So I want, so exiting right here, just come over to this blue bead and sew through this one. So I want you coming out of that bead right there. So just like that, so we're exiting that blue bead. We're gonna add the clasp now. So we're exiting this bottom seed bead, this blue one, and we're just gonna work with these two seed beads right here. I've taken two six millimeter 20 gauge jump rings and I added it to the ring on my, tog my um, toggle clasp and I did the same thing with the toggle bar. We'll get to that in a bit. So here, exiting right here, here's my clasp. I'm going to pick up four 11 O's and I'm just going to sew through, just back off a little bit. Okay, I'm going to sew through the two rings. And don't worry, you know, as long as the you're sewn through the rings, we'll tighten everything up in a bit. So this is where I'm exiting. I'm just going to go to this bead on this side and sew through the same side on that side. So coming out of the top of this one, going down the top of the blue one on the other side. And switch to a size 12 beading needle if you need to here, um, if it's tight. So we see how that puts those four seed beads on in the back. So here, and I'm exiting this bead. Pick up four of your 11 0 seed beads. You're going to go back through the ring like this. And we'll tighten everything up in a bit, make sure they kind of pop down there. So back through the ring, and then right back through the original bead we started from, which is this one. So this way. like that. And when I pull, you know, pull gently, I should have these two groups of four. See that? Surrounding the, the um, jump rings, see? So four in the back, four in the front, because we have this very 3D cubic right angle weed. So this is what it looks like. And then all you're going to do is you're going to, so here you're exiting this guy the blue one, so you just want to sew up through all the, the four beads in the back, down, around, through this blue one, and back through the front four beads, and then you're just going to sew your thread in. And I find out when I find when I sew my thread in, if I find if I go through a right angle weave unit, let's say like this one, I go through it twice and it kind of locks it in place. And after I've gone through it twice, then I'll sew through a couple more beads on right angles and it locks it in pretty nicely. All right, so get that done and then come back and we'll put on the toggle bar. Okay, we're back. So let's get the toggle bar on. So I have the same two six millimeter jump rings on my toggle bar. And I'm exiting the same place, this bottom blue bead. So I'm just going to try and pull in a teeny bit more. Oops. I picked up 12 of my 11 O seed beads and I'm going to sew through both rings. Like that. And then I'm going to sew through this one. So that's the one on the other side. And it's a little tough because those silver beads are in the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe I could have done a little better planning there, but you'll get through. Change to switch to your size um, 12 beading needle here. So I'm exiting this blue bead here. So you want to come around to the other bead. So we're going to sew through this one. And then through the original one we were coming out of right here. Like that. And then we're going back up through all the beads that we just put on. You know, through the ring, down the other side. one at the end of the beads I just put on. So it looks like now I'm going to pick up a 11-0 
And I'm just going to go right back up through all the beads I just put on, so I'm kind of, you know, ignoring everything else. And that 11 out, just kind of see what that does. It just places it right there. Through all your beads. And this side. That. Give it a little squeeze. Makes like a nice little ending. You can come back through this bead in the center. And then you're going to find a way to, to come like, so you can actually just go, just hop over to this center. Bead on that right angle weave unit. And then work your way around. And so all your threads in. And this is what you're going to end up with. Okay, and remember, go around, sew your threads in and go around a right angle weave unit a couple times um, so it's nice and secure. All right, so get that done and we'll come back and finish okay, up. Okay, we're back. How's that? We're done and isn't that pretty? Absolutely love them. So cute, easy to make, kind of fun summer bracelet with using um, gemstones, which is nice and cool on the skin. Looks pretty with the blue and white. Love it with the black and the... Um, you know, using the mixed metals. So you've got a, a bronzy bead and a silver one here, and then the black. That's the the uh, mystic black pearl from Swarovski, but you can use an onyx there. That would be gorgeous. All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.